Hey y'all, are y'all ready to see the cutest, most budget-friendly craft I believe I have ever shown y'all? I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com and I am so glad you're here. I'm going to show you all the steps that I did to create the cutest little vases. Okay, so I had these breadcrumb canisters in my pantry. I think maybe the breadcrumbs were expired or something. Went to go throw them away and I thought, man, these canisters are pretty sturdy. I could probably use these for something. I don't normally craft like that, but anyway, I held on to them and came up with this. So so you've probably seen me also, if you've been following along for a little while, seen some other projects I've done with these disposable cookie sheets from the Dollar Tree. So all in all, I've got a package of disposable Dollar Tree cookie sheets and two canisters. I'm going to show you what I did to one. I'm going to end up doing it to the other and you'll kind of see them all finished and staged at the end. I used a string to measure their circumference of that canister Then I measured with a ruler so that basically I drew out with a marker just how much it would take of that cookie sheet to wrap all the way around yes wrap it okay it's gonna be so cool we still got some things we need to do to it but right now i'm just kind of shaping it and then i just decided to use regular hot glue so i started with a little area of hot glue i got it started and i put on my little protective things for my fingers because i'd be pressing down and that metal gets kind of hot now i've worked with some other kind of crafting metal and it can be sharp this stuff really isn't that sharp to me i mean i would be careful but uh i, I never ran into any issues with it so all i'm doing is gluing and rolling and gluing and rolling and it is i'm making it kind of the seam will be on the back but if you do it well enough you know like I'm doing here, put an extra thing of glue. Really, you couldn't tell what the front and the back is unless you just stared really, really hard. So there's a little bit of excess at the top and I just kind of bent that down. So see, I just showed you what it did for one and now I have the two finished. I'm actually gonna continue to repurpose and I'm using the lids as my little paint palettes. And I'm just taking some white chalk paint. I chose to use uh, just some chalked uh, folk art decor. Uh, paint and I'm just giving it a couple coats letting each coat dry in between I did end up doing two coats and once those two coats of white chalk paint were dry I went ahead and pulled out my sanding pad and I gave it a little distressing I wanted some of that silver to show through I want I'm going for a super rustic look here um, if you're familiar with my style that's typically what I do I, I love that perfectly imperfect so I'm really kind of just um, not thinking too hard but giving it some weathered rustic kind of look in some places then I have this color called burnt umber by folk art and I'm just kind of watering it down to make my own kind of custom wash or glaze grabbing a baby wipe and all I'm gonna do here I'm not going to show you everything I did but all I did was I ended up wiping that glaze on and then taking that baby wipe and just wiping it back to my taste and I kept wiping back until it was the color and what happened was all that glaze got down in those grooves of that raised kind of embossed cookie sheet and it really created a cool look lastly I'm just going to seal it in place with a little bit of Mod Podge there that you saw and and let that dry then as I was looking back at these, I thought they looked cute plain. I really did, but I decided to embellish them a little. So I have some decorative ribbon here that I picked up using that string that I used to measure at the very beginning for that metal. I used it to kind of measure my ribbon and it worked out really well. Okay, so now I'm just securing that with a little bit of hot glue, making sure the seams where the ribbons meet kind of go over that back seam where the metal met. That way, you know, you can kind of decide that you have a front and a back to your piece. But like I said, it looks good from all angles. We're gonna make sure it looks good all the way around so we can put it in, cause you're gonna see me kind of uh, style it here in a minute and then show you a few different looks. Y'all, how sweet was that? And I believe that I picked up all of those decorative ribbons from Hobby Lobby, especially that one, if you're interested in that one with the buttons on it, super cute. I did get that at Hobby Lobby. Now I'm just kind of showing you, I didn't use any kind of floral foam or any fillers. I just bent and voila, there you go. And then for another look, I took just the lavender out and replaced that with tulips easy peasy and then one more hang around to the very end and you'll see me style it kind of a real southern style with some cotton and uh, greenery but now i'm gonna kind of decorate and show you what it looks like i got a little round charger with some moss and i just wanted to put it out to kind of show you this is on my coffee table chest y'all you would never know that these are cardboard canisters covered in a dollar tree cookie sheet really to me they are just super impressive and like i said the most budget friendly thing i think i've ever shown y'all and i could see you really like revamping some glass faces too and just all kinds of stuff different embellishments would look great i just hope you're inspired to try something similar and i hope you enjoyed all the different looks. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Y'all stay crafty. Bye.